Okay, hi girls. Um, look, I just want to try something that I haven't tried before, which is um, try and teach you something via um, recording it electronically. Um, we're actually missing a lesson this week because of, mod because of Moderation Day, and um, I just want to. There's just a couple of things that I just want you guys to be 100% sure of um, uh, in preparation for your test that's on Friday. Um, None of what I'm going to show you right now is um, too difficult, but there is a bit of a new skill that, that um, we haven't covered before. Um, I think it's important if you can do this before the lesson on Wednesday, and then you can we can use Wednesday as revision rather than learning. Um, I think that's probably a better way of doing it, particularly as you've got the whole day on Tuesday to um, hopefully get some work done at home. So, let's get going. I want you to have a look at the equation above, um, sort of in two parts, and I guess I want you to notice that there's an x plus 3 here, and then there's another x plus 3 here. Now, if I asked you to solve this, what hopefully you'd do is you'd multiply this by this, which you give x squared, and then you do x multiplied by 3, and we get 3x, and then we'd move over to this part, and you get 4x, 4 times x, and then finally 4 times 3, which is 12. Now, hopefully then you would see that there are some like terms here, so we can simplify this a bit further. Then we get x squared plus 7x uh, plus 12. Now, I'm going to rearrange this equation into a different format down below. Now, what hopefully you can see here is that x plus 3 I've moved in here. To make this half of that, I've actually taken this x and I've combined it with this 4 to make x plus 4. Now, a question some people ask at this point is, well, there were two x plus 3s up here and now there's only one down here, so where's it gone? What's actually happened when you've got two sets of brackets is that it actually gets used twice. So, x times x and then x times 3, and then the 4 uses it as well. 4 times x, 4 times 3. Which is exactly what actually happened up here. x times x, which is the same as this time, x times x, and then x times 3, and so on. So, if I expand this, I get x squared plus 3x, which is the, that times that, and then 4 times x, and then finally 4 times 3, which is 12, and hopefully you might be able to even see that this is starting to match up up here with this one. And if I simplify, I get the same answer. What that means, if you've got the same uh, set of brackets twice, you can rearrange it like this. We'll do another example before I'll um, ask you to do a couple. So notice here, x minus 1 is on both sides. I'm going to expand it just the old way, so this is sort of proving why this can work. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2x. 3 times x, 3x. And then 3 times negative 1 gives um, negative 3. Now I can do some simplification here, and I end up with 2x plus 1x, or just x, minus 3. So, I'm going to rearrange the same way that I did before. I'm going to take this 2x here, combine it with this 3, put it there, and then bring down this. Now, to prove this, I'm going to multiply it out again. 2x times x. 2x times negative 1. 3 times x. And 3 times negative 1. And again, if I simplify, I end up with the same thing. So just to recap, if you've got the same numbers inside the brackets, you can combine these yellow parts down here, and then these blue bits can come down here. These two equations are the same. They're just represented in a different form. So, for this next task, there's only a few of them, I would like you to rearrange these 
into the other form or the form that's demonstrated on this slide here. Now on the next slide um, I've got the answers so I think you should pause this video while you get these done and then I'll um, go on and show you the answers. So if we're moving on to the answers now, this should this first one will become x plus 4 and x minus 12. So x plus 4, x minus 12, which is the x and the 4 and the x and the 12. Next one, x minus 7, x plus 3. Oops. X minus 7, x plus 3 and you can check your other two answers there. So they're not too difficult, but um, I think you should definitely ensure that you're, you're on top of these. Um, if you still need, still aren't 100% sure, I think you should watch the video again um, and then come ready with questions um, in the next lesson on Wednesday.